All right, today I'm gonna be showing you a super efficient cobblestone generator for 1.16. This generator is catered to people playing our custom skyblock servers, where cobblestone generator drops may be altered to drop ores or something similar, but it works perfectly fine for single player as well. Let's hop into it. Here's what you're gonna need for this build. 3 sticky pistons, 14 normal pistons, 17 observers, 5 repeaters, 14 redstone dust, 10 redstone lamps, 2 powered rails, 2 redstone torches, 1 lever, 1 trap door, 1 normal door, 8 lava sources, an infinite water source, 10 furnaces, 5 signs, a slab and 13 stairs of your choice, and about 4 to 5 stacks of building blocks, and optionally 20 cobblestone, I'll show you why later. Okay, let's get started. So. I'm gonna be building on a 13 by 13 space right here and we're gonna count up one two three four five six blocks to the center and then one two three blocks up and then one two three four five blocks are going to be broken and then you place your signs in just like so now we can go ahead and take out our cobblestone and just place it right on top of the signs and just have a five by four wall cobblestone and this is useful because it's something we can orient ourselves after because this is gonna be your field of view basically while mining and this is what you're gonna be breaking perfect let me just take out my furnaces real quick we're gonna have columns of two furnaces on each side on this side you're gonna want two columns just like so and right here you're gonna want three columns filling out the spaces on the other end let's do this side first so the cobblestone is basically going to be flowing into the middle from here so basically first off you want to go ahead and place one piston here two pistons here and two pistons here then you want to take your wall blocks just fill in your wall this is going to be outside wall just place your lava in okay and now go to each side just like so and just go ahead place some stairs down and the water lock both of the stairs just like so and do the same on the opposite side there you go now you've done those two now what you're going to need to do is you're going to place a slab right here between the two lava blocks place four blocks next to the, the slab and you want to water lock this slab now what this is going to do is it's going to make that block into a cobble gem perfect now, both of these are also cobble generators because of the water, as you can see. And this is basically this side done. While we're at it, you can also add five rows of stairs, just like so, and just put some borders on them. And then also water log all these. And then also go up and place a row of five pistons facing downwards on the cobblestone this will be the top part okay now moving on to this side the cobblestone is going to be flowing through here so we want to place our pistons this way perfect and now you want to place your lava in the middle there you go and now you can go ahead and place your stair blocks right here same procedure as before just water lock them and then do the same on the opposite side. Perfect. Now both of these are also going to be working cobble generators. Now we're going to fill in the opposite side of this part, the top part with lava. So you want to make a little holding place, holding container for the lava. And here you can use just a bucket here and a bucket here. Just let them flow. And now, if I break this, you're gonna see that all five blocks will come right back. Great. Now, with that being said, you're basically done with the generator parts. Because these blocks, this block, these blocks, the top, and the other side are all gonna be perfectly working cobble gems. Now, what you can go ahead and do is just put a wall on your cobblestone generator. Just to en enclose all of this. But you could theoretically just use it but you do need a roof for the redstone so do as you will right now i'm gonna go make a little wall around this thing and i'll see you in a little bit okay great at this point your cobblestone generator should be looking a little bit like this perhaps you use different materials it doesn't really matter 
Now, with these stubs right here, you could just theoretically just expand the wall and just make it like thick. But I just leave it like this because it's pointless. Okay, now we're done with this. We're going to move on to the redstone. And switch inventory. Nice. You're going to go up to this. I'm going to break this. And I'm going to make a little 3x3 three three platform out outskirt thing, whatever. And I'm going to put down an observer with a piece of redstone dust. Put a redstone lamp right there. And go out a couple blocks and place a sticky piston. Now below this sticky piston, you can go ahead and place four blocks. Take out the first and the third block. Place two redstone torches on top of each other. And then take out your lever. Place it right here. And as you can see, the little pulse just retracted the redstone lamp. Now this is the off space. Now you can go ahead and get your repeaters. And just go three out and then two in. Whoops. And set all of these on max delay. Now you can just go ahead and link these up and just put redstone all across the pistons. Now we're done with that part. We can just go ahead and just do the parts on the outside with the little piston thingy. So we're going to do the right side first. We're going to do two redstone dust right there. One redstone dust off a block and then sticky piston. There we go. And then observer. Then what you want to do is you want to go out a couple blocks and place an observer right in this location with the face facing upwards and then redstone lamp observer redstone lamp two of them and then place an observer and then one here another lamp then another observer and do the same on the other side observer lamp and observer perfect now you want to make sure the observers are facing outwards and then to the pistons everything else is just going to work properly oh and don't forget about this let me just take something out, this, and just put a powered rail right here. Cool. Now you can do the same thing on the opposite side. Put the redstone dust right here. And then go up one block. Then redstone dust. Then piston. Then another observer. And do the same thing. Like so. And you're going to have it facing upwards. Place the rail on top. Redstone lamp. Observer. Two redstone lamps. And same thing, just link these up. And just one here, lamp, and one here. There you go. They're all facing into the pistons, as you can see right here. Now, that's all the top done. And something you can do is you can take your trapdoor right now. You just place it right there. You can go with your observers, place one like this, and one like this. Other way around, sorry. There you go. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to make the trapdoor go up and down and up and down. It's going to be a little clock. Let me just break it so you can hear me. And basically, while you're digging, this thing is going to be crouching and uncrouching you, going in and out of crawl mode, right? And if you mine fast enough, if you insta-break it, it just breaks by itself, right? So you break both layers without having to move your cursor whatsoever. And now what you want to do is you want to take your door... And you just want to place it on the front. Now, basically, it's just going to prevent the cobblestone from reaching out. Say your inventory is just full, like mine kind of is right now. So the cobblestone might just fly out. That may be bad. So just place the door on the front just in case. Okay, let's take this for a test drive then, shall we? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my trap door again. Because I've broken it. And we're just going to put it right back. We're going to turn on the generator. And for this to work properly and to insta-mine all of this, hold down your left click and just look straight forward. You'll see that it starts feeding you cobblestone. And you break it as soon as it and this is what it's going to look like. Now you may be wondering, okay, but all of this is just falling down right here. What am I supposed to do about it? Well, let me show you something. I have a little thing set up right here. This is an item sorter. Let me just get rid of this real quick and just pop these into my inventory. We're going to pop down here. And this right here is a little item sorter. So, say you're playing on a custom skyblock and you have multiple things dropping from your generator, right? Well then, you might just not want to put it all in one chest and just put a hopper at the end and just put it all in one chest. Instead, you might just want to sort everything. I have like, say, diamonds in this chest, say, redstone here, whatever. So what you can do is you can make an item sorter. Now, 
what you want to do first is make sure you place your hoppers along your water stream. Now, let me just place this in real quick. But it would be good if you didn't place them right under the signs and place them right as they begin to leave the drop zone. So if something at the back drops at the front, it might just leak out. So just for safety's sake, do this. So let me show you how to build this thing. So first up, you want the hopper to face away from your chest. This one, as you can see, the little nub is facing that way and the chests are this way. So the first hopper, the one that's picking up everything should be facing outside. Now you can just below that one, you can just place all of your other hoppers onto the chest. And then you can go ahead and place three blocks like so, and then make a little cross shape just like so. You see? And then place a comparator facing outwards from the hopper, like so. And just have three redstone dust across, then a repeater, then a redstone torch. And that's basically it for the building part. Now, you're gonna determine what you actually wanna filter, right? So let's say I wanna filter cobblestone. So what you want to do is you need a stack or just four actually named items some sort of unique item or at least something that you're not gonna filter right so if i'm gonna place cobblestone here i might want quartz in there or something whatever otherwise you can just name any item and it'll work perfectly fine what you do is you place four items like so and then you place your stack of what you're trying to sort in the first slot and it's gonna start draining down into the chests below as you can see right now but it stops at 41 as you can see perfect now what this is basically doing is whenever an item is coming over top of it if it's cobblestone it'll pick it up but if it's not cobblestone it'll keep going it won't get picked up i have the same thing set up here also with cobblestone so let me just pick up a different block let's pick up hoppers why not this goes to show that you can filter just about any stackable item. So let's remove the cobblestone. We're going to place a stack of hoppers in here. As you can see, it's going to do the same thing again. It's going to start draining. And once it reaches 41, it's going to stop. There you go. So what we can test now is we can have cobblestone and hoppers. And we're going to go up to the top. And say you're just digging. And somehow you just end up having hoppers in your generator, don't ask me. The hoppers just drop in. Let's drop like 16 or something. Let's drop 16 hoppers and 16 cobblestone. There you go. So you just drop this. As you can see, it disappeared right there. You just drop this. Now let's say we also want to drop like 16 redstone torches. There you go. Now let's go down here. And now you're going to see that the redstone torches fell out. But all of the other items didn't. If we look down here, the number increased. I got 39 hoppers and a bunch more cobblestone for my other tests. Don't worry about it. So as you can see, the item store is working perfectly. You can just tile this design. I would recommend just having rows of double chests, like so. You just stack them on top of each other, like this, all the way to here. And you just mimic this design, just tile it over. Now, if you're looking to make this for single player, then you might want to just have the top layer be feeding in and just don't have the bottom layer whatsoever. So then if you want to do that, I recommend just breaking these furnaces and the cobblestone and the whatever, just replace all this and also move the signs up by one and just break these signs below. The stone is only going to be ending up right here and you can only just dig this one. And it's still going to be very efficient because you're never actually going to get to the end. You're always going to be digging the cobblestone. And it's just going to be falling down here. So here's a neat little design for all these single player people. If you're just trying to make it just for easy cobblestone. So that's about it. That's the entire design done. Plus an item filter. I would like to say a big thanks to Ricardo Milos for the initial design. All I did was just take the timings and just tweak them a little bit. And just tweak this system right here a little bit. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Whatever. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope it helped you. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.